And when the city of Baltimore has been measured in lifting COVID restrictions, one of its major attractions, the Maryland Zoo, is uh, kind of selecting, hey, we're going to operate at 25% capacity, even though the zoo would be allowed to double that. That's right. WMER 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on some of the unique challenges the zoo faces when it comes to reopening. While the threat of COVID has led to protections to protect humans during this pandemic, here at the Maryland Zoo, animals also must be. I want to see the penguins. You saw the penguins? Typically this time of year, the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore would be flush with field trips and 4,000 visitors per day. But only 400, including nine-year-old Vera Cromwell, will show up on this day to see what they've been missing during the pandemic. I like seeing the like safari thing over there and all the giraffes and stuff. A special treat lies in store with two new southern white rhinoceros thought to be extinct a century ago and a pair of great white pelican new to the zoo. Vaccinated or not, visitors must don masks as they maneuver 40 acres of trails to view the animals because here both man and beast could both be at risk of contracting the virus. There's three species in particular that we worry about the most. The cat species, because we've got cheetahs, we've got leopards and lions, we have to worry about those. Uh, the Bronx Zoo had a case where tigers contracted it. Uh, the primates we have to worry about because they're so closely affiliated with humans and I believe it were gorillas in San Diego contracted COVID. And then otters, believe it or not, uh, in a population of minks in Scandinavia contracted it. The pandemic forced the zoo to close down entirely for three months last year, and it's still operating at just a fraction of its capacity to keep down foot traffic to protect the animals, even though its revenue is down by 25 percent. With set costs of up to $50,000 per day just to feed and care for its animals, it has become creative in trying to stay afloat without putting its star attractions at risk. We have these new events for adults, as well as children, uh, particularly these sip and strolls, where people can come into the zoo, enjoy the animals, but also have a glass of wine or a beer and learn about the zoo. But also we have these very special animal experiences for people now. We've added so many more. Uh, there's a penguin fist toss, there's a goat trek, there's of course the giraffe feeding station. There's so many ways to interact personally with animals, and I think that's the best part of the whole zoo. If you want to visit the zoo, online tickets are available at 30 minute intervals to try to space people out and it's open seven days a week from 10 to 4. Reporting from the Maryland Zoo, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.